In this video, I'm going to be finding the range of y equals x squared take away 6 over x squared plus 4x plus 5 without using calculus. So I'm going to put the x squared take away 6 over x squared plus 4x plus 5 equal to k, just like we did in the previous video. Multiply out by the denominator. So x squared take away 6 is equal to kx squared plus 4kx plus 5k. And then I'm going to rearrange everything onto the right-hand side. So I get 0 equals, subtract the x squared from both sides, we'll have k minus 1x squared, plus the 4kx, plus the 5k, and add the 6 to both sides as well. So in order for this curve to intersect k, uh, y equals k, I'm going to need the discriminant to be greater than or equal to 0. So that implies that we're going to have 4k all squared take away 4 lots of a times c, which is the 5k plus 6, and that's greater than or equal to 0. OK, so expand that out. So 16k squared uh, take away 4 lots of, we're going to have 5k squared uh, plus 6k take away 5k, so uh, plus k take away 6 is greater than or equal to 0. So 16k squared take away 20k squared take away 4k plus 24 is greater than or equal to 0. 16k squared take away 20k squared is minus 4k squared. Then we've got the minus 4k plus 24 is greater than or equal to 0. Now I'm going to divide through by minus 4. So we get k squared plus k minus uh, 6, and that's going to flip the direction of the inequality symbol, so it's less than or equal to 0. Right, so that factorises to k plus 3, k minus 2, is less than or equal to 0. So a quick little sketch of my parabola. So it's going through minus 3 and 2. Where is the graph below the k-axis? That's below it there. So we're looking at minus 3 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to 2. OK? So, um, with that in mind then, we do just need to double check that uh, k equals 1 is still OK, right? Now, it, you know, if you just had, like, uh, 5x squared at the front, then we wouldn't need to worry about this. But because we've got uh, something to do with k, and we're working with k, if, the, if it makes the discriminant method fail at that point, then we've got to be a little bit careful. So k equals 1 is in our region, OK? So that just means we need to double check that k equals 1, uh, which will make the coefficient of x squared here 0, Will that uh, give me something that's consistent or not? Because then, if it doesn't, then we're in, prop we're in trouble. <clears throat> so, if I substitute it in, we get 0x squared. Uh, then we've got 4x. And then we've got plus 5 plus 6. And so that's uh, plus 11. And you can see then, OK, well, x is equal to minus 11 quarters then. So it just means that the curve is intersecting um, uh, y equals 1 at one point. And that's fine, OK, because that's in the region. k equals 1 is inside the region that we're considering. So that's OK. So um, our range then will be minus 3 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 2. In set notation, y belongs to the real numbers such that uh, minus 3 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 2. And in interval notation, y belongs to minus 3, comma, 2 with square brackets because we're including both ends of the inequality.